International Business School is located in Budapest, capital of Hungary. More precisely, IBS is located in the third district, which is in the north of Budapest. IBS is hosted by a business park called Grafisoft Park. About five minutes walk from IBS's buildings, you can find an ocean hypermarket with a post office, offices of phone companies, a bank, ATMs and buffets. Also within Grafisoft Park is the IBS Residence Hall, offering high-quality accommodation just a few minutes walk away from IBS's buildings. If you'd like to use public transport, you can access IBS by train from Nugati Railway Station, Or you can use the green electric commuter train, nicknamed HEVE, to get to IBS from Batyanytér, which is a central hub on the Buddha side of the city, ensuring a link with Metro Line 2. There is also a bus service stopping near IBS, linking you up with Metro Line 3. If you own a car and wish to come to IBS by car, it's also possible, but do expect some parking fees near IBS. You may also choose to come by bicycle. IBS's campus itself consists of three heritage buildings that have been refurbished to fit IBS's specific needs. The building that you can see as you enter the campus is called the office building. The downstairs floor is where you will find the Centre for Marketing and Admissions, the Centre for Student Services and the Cash Office. The Centre for Student Services provides administrative support to students as well as well-being support. IBS's largest building is the Classrooms Building. It has three floors with 32 classrooms of different sizes. We only have one large hall, which is used for a number of different purposes except lectures. We have two large classrooms which seat 54 students. We have 18 medium-sized classrooms, which seat 24 to 32 students. And we have 12 small classrooms, seating 16 to 20 students, which we mostly use for skills and language classes. A projector or a large TV are absolutely standard equipment in every classroom. And each of them features a teacher's desk with an integrated networked computer in it which enables the tutor to show any kind of presentation, audio or video material. The furniture in the classrooms follows a varied pattern, so the tutors have the freedom to rearrange classrooms as they see fit. We also have some special purpose classrooms, most remarkably the IT rooms, which we mostly use for IT classes but also for subjects that require the intensive use of IT equipment, Excel for financial calculations or statistics and so on. These rooms are also available to students when there is no teaching. By checking the timetable displayed next to the classroom door, it's easy to find slots when the classroom is free. We also have two very special classrooms. One is IBS's Senate or boardroom, but it's also used for teaching. The other very special room is called the Spark Room with its hypermodern and absolutely flexible furniture, suitable for all kinds of creative activities. Students on campus comfort is served by a few features, such as the Student Lounge, which is a room where students can spend their free time, the student lounge is equipped with a drinks machine and there is also a coffee machine nearby. The entire campus is equipped with Wi-Fi. With your IBS login you can use it inside or outside the buildings. All facilities, offices and classrooms are accessible for disabled persons. There are ramps and lifts on campus. IBS's washrooms are modern and clean and they are equipped with disinfectant soap. 
waste is collected selectively at IBS. IBS's library is located on the ground floor of the IBS library building. The library has a collection of hard copy books, which can be read on the spot or borrowed. Books that students would like to read, which are not available, can be obtained from other libraries with the help of the librarian via interlibrary loan. The library also offers electronic resources, mainly academic databases and business journals. You can also use the printing and photocopying services in the library. Smokers have designated areas outside the buildings in the garden, and there is also an outside arena, which we call the amphitheater, which is suitable for various outdoor events, including the opening ceremony of the academic year.